have the problem that your keyboard quickly becomes messy? Oh, man. Oh. For some reason, all of that Cheetos and energy thing gets stuck in between your keys? Or do you find a shit ton of hair stuck in between her? I don't even know how it got there. Well, you came to the right place because me, Sander, will show you how you're gonna clean your mechanical dirty ass keyboard up. So let's go. And basically the items that you will need is a soft brush, a towel, dishwasher detergent, a container where you keep all your Fiora keycaps in, cotton sticks and a keycap puller. That should be sufficient for most of you. But if your keyboard is really just as dirty and sticky as mine, you might want a switch puller and a screwdriver as well. The first thing what you want to do is grab your container, put it on a table and make sure your container is actually big enough for all of your keycaps. And make sure your container is able to close off to make things even more efficient. If you cannot close off your container, that's not a problem. And the thing you want to do next is remove all the keycaps. You can do this by hand or by the keycap puller and put them inside of the container. Once you've done that, put some dishwasher detergent in the container and you want to fill up the container with lukewarm water make sure to not use hot water because if you're going to use hot water your keycaps may bend so don't use water that's hot to the touch and once you fill it up you can actually close off the container right now and shake like this no tomorrow and repeat this two more times after 15 minutes so the first time after 15 minutes second time after 30 minutes and then you are all set for those who cannot close off the container, you can simply just do the same method, but instead of shaking it, you're actually stirring the keycaps. And if everything goes right, you should actually see a lot of debris just floating around in your container and it's just absolutely <coughs> disgusting. And after the 30 minutes have passed, you'll bring your keycaps to your sink and wash them off one more time with cold water. And make sure all the debris is removed. If you actually see like debris still stuck on the keycaps, make sure to get a towel or like a microfiber cloth and just wipe it off one more time and then everything should be clean. And now of course you need to dry your keycaps and the method I use is actually shake them one by one the water out and place on a towel and let it dry but the fastest and most efficient way is to just grab all your keycaps, throw it in your towel, fold it shut and just shake around so all the water just simply comes out and then you want to open the towel up and place them upside down near a wind or in the sun to actually let it dry faster. And the whole drying process should take about a few hours and then it's done. But in the meanwhile, we can go towards the keyboard and actually clean that up. And for this step, we actually have to decide how dirty your keyboard actually is. If it's really dirty, like mine right now, like energy drinks seeping through the switches, <laughs> then I recommend you skip to the time that's shown on the screen right now. For this step, you actually need a switch puller and a screwdriver. But if your keyboard isn't dirty as mine, you can actually stay at this part. And for this part, you will actually need a brush, you will need a cotton buds, and you need your container once again to make a nice lukewarm soap bath. Right now you want to take your brush and brush the biggest debris off your keyboard. You will actually see there's a shitload of debris coming off your keyboard for just simply brushing. And this is of course the easiest method. But of course you still have some little bit of stickiness in between your keyboard which you can't easily rub off with your brush and that's where you need the cotton buds for. So get your cotton buds and get your container with soap and just dip the cotton buds in the soap bath and make sure the cotton bud is not dripping on your keyboard it must be lightly moisturized in order to work the best if you actually do drip on the keyboard make sure to dry it out first before using your keyboard because else your keyboard might get harmed. And that's pretty much for this step. And once you've completed cleaning all the crevices and whatever with your cotton buds, you simply go to your keycaps and see if they are dry. And if they are dry, put them on again and voila, your keyboard is 
Bellissimo again. And now my favorite mode, deep cleaning mode. This is the one I always use because it's just so much more efficient. So make sure for this step, your mechanical keyboard is actually hot swappable and not soldered on. If it's soldered on, sorry, I cannot help you. But if it's hot swappable, we can continue on this cleaning journey. First thing what you want to do is actually remove the switches from your board. You can actually remove the switches by locating the clips on the top and bottom of the housing. Once you've located them, grab your switch puller insert the claws against the clips of the switch and simply pull them out and once you removed all the switches make sure to get your screwdriver and remove all the screws on your top plate and once you remove the screws from a top plate you can actually remove the top plate itself now and also you shouldn't forget to remove the stabilizers first before cleaning the top plate and you can actually remove them by pressing the clips on the back and pushing it downwards and then they should pop out and right now what you want to do is grab your brush go to the sink fill up your sink with dishwasher detergent and lukewarm water make a nice warm bath out of it and just put the top plate in and rub it clean with your brush and once you've done that get your towel dry the whole thing up to put back the stabilizers in and get back to your keyboard place the top plate on your keyboard screw all of your screws in get your switches put them in the switches and put on your keycaps once they have dried out and oh, everything is so nice and clean it is lovely and that's pretty much how you can clean your mechanical key but if you have any more questions please let us know in the comments below if you're wondering what this keyboard is this is the wooting 2 he there's a link in the description to the product page and they're actually available right now on this time so check it out